Hey everybody, can you believe we're only eight days away from Christmas? I don't think I've been this excited for a Christmas to come than when I was a little kid. Christmas is by far my favorite holiday and one of my favorite traditions we had in my family was the manger scene, the nativity set. My dad's a carpenter and he made a nativity set and it would have real straw in it and it would have the cotton on the roof to make it look like snow. And we would have the wise men and the animals and Mary and Joseph. And sometimes even my little farm animals would make their way in there. I remember very clearly when I was a little kid, I would turn off all the lights and I would go in there and only turn on the star. And I just was kind of mesmerized by the nativity scene. Thinking about what the people in there were thinking about, what happened. It's really a cool tradition that we have. As I've gotten to be a parent now and have a one-year-old, she loves to look at the nativity scene that we have. She loves to point out the trees and the cow and the sheep and the angel and her mama Mary and Joseph and the wise men. The other day, I was up at school and in the lobby, I saw the school nativity scene. And it struck me how strange it really is. Everyone, everything is looking at an empty space. Of course, that's where Jesus goes. We had a cool tradition in my family where my mom would wrap up baby Jesus and the youngest person would get to go under the tree, get out the present and put him in the manger. And that really made the manger scene look complete. It made the rest of the characters make sense. In the time left before Christmas, I want you to consider something. Your life is like the manger scene. There are many awesome things in it. Family, friends, talents, fun things, school. But like the school's manger scene, your life doesn't make much sense if Jesus isn't at the center of it. He doesn't want to take away all those other things. Far from it, because he gave them to you. But if you don't have Jesus in the center of your life, the biggest part of your life is missing. This Christmas, while you're celebrating safely with your family, remember that the most important relationship you will ever have is with Jesus. All right, everybody, have a Merry Christmas. Stay safe. And have a happy new year.